Now, it's pretty much common knowledge at this point in time that Disney may very well end its movies in live action form when it comes to Snow White 2024 being by far one of the biggest box office failures in history, at least for Disney, with the live action films. It's quite ironic because Disney all started with their movies back in 1937. It could very well end in 2024. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into the subject, shall we? Now, we know that there's a lot of things happening with Rachel Zegler and Gal Gadot, as well as the director of the film, Mark Webb. And we also are very well aware that this movie is going through a terrible phase, not just because of the resurfaced interviews by Zegler and the leaked photographs of the Seven Dwarfs, but also due in part to the damage control of what's happening behind closed doors. Let's discuss. Now, we already know that no matter what Disney tries to do with this movie, as long as it exists, as long as it does eventually debut in theaters, it's not going to be good for them. No matter how much, you know, work they put into this thing, or re-edits that they go through, or even if they do embrace reshoots if the strikes end in time, which by the way, I highly doubt that they will, they really are facing probably the biggest backlash since The Last Jedi for the Star Wars franchise. And I think that this is definitely and absolutely going to mark itself down in the history books <laughs> as one of Disney's worst movie releases of all time. So anyway, let's get into the nitty gritty details about all of this. Now, on top of all of this, with Snow White 24 in a constant struggle with getting accepted by the general public, one major development has to do with Disney's attempt to course correct this film. Specifically, Disney has now successfully canceled the entire ending of Snow White 2024, and director Mark Webb and the editors of the film are going through extra footage shot back in June of 2022 to use to fill in for the new ending. The ending scene that was cancelled involved the victory dance of the seven magical creatures including Snow White and Jonathan after the death of the evil queen. This is followed by the second half of the hip hop version of the Hi Ho song being played. Now, since this scene failed so terribly in the test screening for the film, Disney has now decided to pull all footage of the seven magical creatures, singing this song that is said to be just as bad as the Scuttlebutt song from The Little Mermaid. However, the first half of the song remains in the second act of the film. So guys, to be very clear, the Hi Ho remix was divided into two parts. Part one was the first half of the song in the second act of the film, Part two of the song was for the third act of the movie, the very ending, if you will. That's now being erased. Now, that's not going to help them either. The only thing that would even help them is to erase the Hi Ho remix song altogether and just call it a day. But they seem to be very naive and out of touch with reality to the point where they're like, okay, let's just delete this part of the Hi Ho song during the ending of Snow White, but let's keep the one that takes place in the cave in the second act of Snow White. All right, so let's move on for forwards here. Now we know that basically Mark Webb and the editors of this film, they are really responsible for exactly how this movie's gonna be paced because Disney's demands are that they want to reduce the running time, they want to tighten this movie up, and they want to improve the flow of the film. Now, what do I mean by the flow? They want to basically increase moviegoer engagement levels. They want to keep the moviegoer interested. They don't want any kind of moments where it drags on too long or where there's plot holes or things that are left, you know, people wondering or scratching their heads over. They want to cancel out all of those sequences as much as they can. But it's still not going to help them, in my opinion, guys. I don't know about you, but this is not going to help them in the least. And at the end of the day as well, as long as it stars Rachel Zegler, as long as you have the seven magical creatures in there, visually speaking, and referring to them as the seven magical creatures, you're just setting yourself up for failure, no matter what way you do anything with this movie. So... We know that tomorrow, Disney is going to come up with their final decision on whether or not they want to debut this trailer at D23, which I believe kickstarts on September 9th, 
We will be covering that later in the week to discuss exactly what that's all about and what their decision is going to be. They're all on the fence about that right now, by the way, because they're getting very worried about the backlash of this film. But anyways, moving onwards. Now, Disney has now decided to pull all footage of the seven magical creatures singing that song and it's said to be just as bad as the Scuttlebutt. Originally, the plan was for the Seven Dwarfs to sing the song twice at different parts in the film. Additionally, the cancellation of this ending of Snow White is also ridding the shot of Snow White leading Jonathan on the horse on the way to the castle in the distance. However, this cancellation doesn't necessarily mean anything good is coming out of this at Disney, as they are planning to throw in footage that is described to be even more insufferable with Rachel Zegler. More updates on that in the coming days. The plan by Disney is to essentially reduce the amount of screen time for the Seven Dwarfs entirely. And since the dwarfs are in the shot, as Zegler is leading the horse with Jonathan, this had to be erased for the ending sequence of the film. Both Mark Webb and the editors are already appearing, of course, and preparing the massive re-edit of this ending scene, which has already gone through production hell, similar to that of The Rise of Skywalker for Star Wars, and how that had multiple endings. So, this is very similar. I don't know if you knew this. Rise of Skywalker, and by the way, Kathleen Kennedy was the culprit, went through like 10 different endings. 10 different like variations of endings of that film. They weren't really quite sure how to end this thing. The same exact thing applies here with Snow White. This is all, you know, kind of plug and play, um, testing to see what works with screeners and to see what kind of reactions they get out of, get out of certain cuts of this film. And similar, you know, uh, things came out of this from The Rise of Skywalker, where originally they wanted Ben Solo to live, they wanted Rey to continue her journey with Ben, then they wanted Ben to die. I mean, all of these different variants. And I'm sensing that this is the same scenario here with Mark Webb instead. You know, we had J.J. Abrams that was a big hand in The Rise of Skywalker that played with the multiple endings of Star Wars Episode Nine. This really is taking it to a different level though because they are intentionally only doing this to number one reduce the running time and number two to cut down the amount of footage of the seven dwarfs or the magical creatures as much as possible as much as they can do and as long as they're in there like i said as long as they're in there even for one frame even for one minute it's going to tarnish this movie and into a backlash that we have never seen before. I can tell you right now. Because if you thought the backlash was bad with those leaked photographs, you can only imagine what it's going to look like in motion, in actual footage, either in the upcoming trailer or in the final cut of this movie. But anyway, guys, drop a comment below. Fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys next time.